Our basic rights to exist rely on what we are able to eat, drink, and breathe. If any of these three components are compromised, then so is our health. Then why are there so many toxins in our air, water, and food supplies? We are all economic slaves to a broken system of fiat currency. We work 40 plus hours a week, 50 plus weeks a year, until we're old enough to retire, but are too elderly to fully enjoy our golden years. The best years of our lives were given to the same global corporations who have kept us financially enslaved. While water is the world's most precious commodity, it is also a basic right for all of humanity. Our planet is covered with more than two-thirds of it being water, but fresh water is only about 2.5% of it, while the rest is salt water. In some areas of the United States, such as Utah, Washington, or Colorado, it is illegal to trap your own rainwater or to divert water from a stream or river into a holding reservoir. While drilling for your own water supply through the local aquifer would be preferred, most people are reliant upon city drinking water, which does not filter out many of the pharmaceuticals that are in it through urination and limited filtering processes, along with the addition of fluoride to the drinking water in some countries. In an article published by the Associated Press, it was stated that pharmaceuticals have been found in 24 metropolitan cities, including antidepressant medications, anti-seizure medications, anti-inflammatory medications, painkillers, and even caffeine. Additionally, the Associated Press revealed that the drinking water of at least 41 million people in the United States is contaminated with pharmaceutical drugs. A study by the U.S. Geological Survey, published in the journal Scientific Reports, found that birth control drugs were found in unfiltered tap water, which could cause a possible widespread infertility epidemic in the coming years. Big Pharma is not in the business of finding cures because there is no money to be made without repeat business through prescriptions that constantly need to be refilled. A Russian study entitled The Effect of Small Quantities of Fluorine on the Human Body concluded that low concentrations of fluorine in drinking water, 1.5 milligrams per liter, cause changes to developing tissues and harms the development of higher neural activity in humans and animals. Fluoride is a poisonous waste that is so toxic that it cannot be directly dumped into the ocean or any water supply. The addition of fluoride to the water supply correlated directly with the number of stillbirths, mongoloid children, brittle teeth and enlarged dental root structures, adverse spinal conditions, osteomalacia, which is the softening of bones, and osteoporosis, which is abnormally porous and spaced structure inside of bone, in the medicated population as opposed to controlled populations that were unmedicated. 1977. The Congressional Subcommittee on Intergovernmental Relations convenes two full congressional hearings on the subject of fluorides. During the hearing, it was proven that, one, the scientific efforts of those promoting fluoridation were fraudulent, and two, other existing studies proved beyond a doubt that approximately 10,000 excess cancer deaths per year could be attributed to fluoridation in the United States. 1979. On November 11th, up to 50 parts per million fluoride was dumped into the Annapolis, Maryland water supply, resulting in the poisoning of 50,000 people. Many died of heart failure during the week following the spill. In the journal Clinical Toxicology of Commercial Products, 5th edition, 1984, it is stated that there is not a single scientific or laboratory study from anywhere in the world which proves that fluoridation reduces tooth decay in humans. There are, however, hundreds of published scientific papers which show that water fluoridation is dangerous to human, animal, plant, and aquatic life, which is no surprise since fluoride is more toxic than lead and only marginally less so than arsenic. Robert Carton, Ph.D., formerly president of the Union of Governmental Scientists, working at the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, said, Water fluoridation is the greatest case of scientific fraud of this century, if not of all time. 
Bottled water isn't necessarily the answer because it has its own issues. The NRDC found that one-fourth of bottled water is actually just tap water, with or without extra filtration. FDA rules allows bottlers to label their water spring water, even though it may be treated with chemicals, and there's no guarantee that the spring itself is a pure one. In the upcoming years, water could become more precious than gold if we cannot find a way to provide the world with clean drinking water. In Kenya, a massive underground lake was found that could supply the country with fresh water for up to 70 years. In an article published in Science Magazine, a huge underground reservoir was recently discovered 400 miles below the Earth's surface that contains three times as much water as all of our oceans combined. So between the aquifers, lakes, and reservoirs that are located beneath the Earth's surface, along with the newly discovered invention of converting salt water into drinking water, there should be no excuse as to why clean drinking water cannot be enjoyed by everyone on this planet. <laughs>